Hello and welcome back. This is part two of this week's Saturday sipping session where I'm tasting a Rioja and taking this whole Spanish theme a little too seriously. Like my little flower in my hair there. Uh, so this is the wine that I'm going to be tasting. So this, uh, like I said earlier, is a Rioja. I'm only joking. Rioja. 2015 vintage. It's a reserva. So um, as we talked about earlier, reserva means it's been aged for at least three years with one of those years at least in oak. And um, so I'm kind of expecting some red fruits, some dark fruits, and um, probably a bit of oak flavors. We'll find out soon enough. Um, yeah, the producer is Thepa Lebrel, which doesn't really tell you anything else. Um, and there's no other information really on the bottle apart from uh, telling you uh, that it's made with Tempranillo, which we already know because we've geeked up on this already, haven't we? Um, so there we go. So I poured it a little bit earlier and I left it to air out um, a little bit, mostly because um, it's a cheap wine and I'm trying to give it um, a real good shot, <laughs> basically. So uh, we're going to start off. Let's put that there. We're going to start off. By looking at the colour, so that is uh, medium ruby. And oh we're gonna check out the legs. Come on, legs. Yeah. I mean, there's like no movement there right now. Oh, that is a slow trickle. That is a very slow trickle. Right, well, that either means that it's really high in alcohol or it's really high in sugar. Actually, what was the content? 13.5. Well, it's a good Saturday, isn't it? Uh, right, let's check the news. So you've got some strong aromas there of strawberry, cherry, a bit of raspberry, maybe a bit of plum, some of my spices, a bit of pepper as well. You can definitely smell the alcohol. I don't know if that's a good sign yet. Right, let's see what it tastes like. Really dry on the palate, medium body. It's quite, quite high in acid. I don't know if the, either it's from like a higher altitude or cooler region or um, maybe the grapes weren't that right. Well, I don't know. Um, let's see. Okay, so you've got flavors of same as the nose, you've got the strawberry, cherry, um, bit of raspberry, bit of blackberry, bit of black plum, plum, plum. There's some, there's quite a lot of white pepper. Um, there are some spices. I kind of thought they'd be more like vanilla, kind of your classic American oak flavors, but not so much. That's okay. Um, and kind of rough tannins actually. It's really quite burny alcohol if I'm being honest. It's, yeah, quite prominent there. Um, and then we're just going to try and taste one more time for the finish. Oh, now you can see the legs. Now you see them dripping down there. Um, medium finish. Oh, see, I'm getting a little bit more of vanilla now. It, de it definitely needs some time to open up. Sometimes the cheap ones, like, sorry, no offense, little, but sometimes the cheap ones need a couple of minutes. Um, okay, so my conclusion is it's a cheap Rioja. Um, it's not offensive for a cheap Rioja. I'll, I'll, it doesn't taste like shit, so that's always good. Um, it does need a bit of time to kind of open up a little bit, but. I mean, for the price, you can't really complain. I would, I would, I would drink it, you know. So I think that is my overall opinion. So, uh, little, well done on making a decent, cheap reserva. Okay, so if you do like um, a Rioja style of wine in general, um, I would absolutely recommend Navarra as a region. Uh, it's just kind of north, uh, northeast of um, uh, Rioja, so they make really similar wines, they use similar great varieties and they're made in a similar style, so it's definitely something you should try. Um, and then if you like something, if you like the heavier 
Riojas in general then um, gave Ribera del Duero a go and the region of Toro as well. Um, they make really kind of heavy, they're like Riojas but they'll tend to use kind of um, more Cabernet Sauvignon and like heavier grape varieties just to give it extra weight and extra punch. Um, so give those ones a go. Food pairing wise, obviously you should pair with Iberico ham, but also roasted vegetables go really well with this style of wine. Um, your classic, maybe disposable barbecue. Yeah, just kind of give that one a go. Um, what else? I mean, chorizo is something that everybody will um, associate with a Rioja. Um, and actually what we're going to try doing this week is pairing it with a vegan chili. So if you would like to follow a new recipe and learn how to make a vegan chili, then uh, keep an eye out on our social media because our dearest friend, Mr. Owen Bowley, will be showing us how to make this incredible recipe um, from his kitchen soon enough. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Saturday sipping session all about Rioja. If you've got any questions, doubts, secrets, feel free to send them in to at Vin Van Cardi. Uh, we are on Facebook, Twitter uh, and Instagram and now, of course, on the YouTube. So give us a like. Um, until next week, take care and drink your wine at home. Yachida!